What's up, Ranger Nation? It is your boy, JB, and I am here with a review for Power Rangers Beast Morphers, Episode 8, titled Secret Struggle, and this is also the mid-season finale, so we are starting our hiatus starting this week, so, um, it's bittersweet. Now, um, much like with last season of Season 1 of Beast Morphers, I won't be, you know, reviewing it until it comes back in the fall. So I'm not going to be doing any, I won't be watching any spoilers or anything like that. So just do me a favor, you guys. If you guys do watch the spoilers, do me a big favor. Just don't, I would appreciate it if you guys like don't, you know, tweet, don't show me anything at all. I just want to be surprised when the show comes back in the fall. And the biggest thing that I don't want to see anything about is the Dino team up. I don't want to see that, you guys. Please, please, please. Just do me a big favor. Well, without further ado, you guys, let's go ahead and just get into this episode review, okay? All right, let's get started. All right, guys, so this was a pretty good episode. Like I said, it's the mid-season finale, hiatus. So we see Nate, he's in the lab, and he's created this new weapon called the Beast X King Spin Saber. And Ben and Betty are in there as well with him. Um, so Betty asked, you know, Nate to try out the weapon. She tried out the weapon and, you know, she spun it so many times that it made her, you know, levitate. I'm like, okay, nothing wrong with it. I was okay with it. This week, I was okay with Ben and Betty in the episode. It didn't annoy me. Like, it's been annoying me for the last few weeks. It was actually, you know, it was actually well-placed, I'll say that. I definitely will say that it was well-placed. So, um, so Steel comes into the, um, into the lab where Nate is, and he's talking about, he's having some, you know, he wants Nate to check out his Zor, because anytime he tries to go into Scarab mode, his, his, um, Zor just bugs out. Get it? Bug out, because it's a, it's a beetle. It's a Scarab beetle. And I'm like, ah, funny, Steel. And then I thought about it, I'm like, wait a minute, that's a Beetle Wars reference. If you guys are not familiar with Beetle Wars or Beetle Wars Metallics, go check it out, it's on Netflix. When the kids turned into little bugs in the second season, Beetle Wars Metallics, they would say, bug out. And then they turned into a, to turn into a bug. And they turned back to kids, bug back. You guys, I miss Beetle Borgs. I was actually just recently binge watching um, VR Troopers on Netflix. There's this one episode that I love, Lost Memories. You guys, if you guys are not familiar with VR Troopers, Beetle Borgs, or Beetle Borgs Metallics, definitely go check it out on netflix um there's another there's another um there's some more fox kids shows that i wish were on netflix that are not on netflix i wish they would put the mass rider on netflix i wish that they would also put um the mystic knights of tyranny over on there as well i know a lot of people probably didn't like mystic knights but i loved mystic knights and um also i wish they would put the um the Kamen Rider Dragonite on there. I actually did like Kamen Rider Dragonite when it was on CW for kids. Enjoyed it. But no, that's not what we're here for. So, back to Nate, Steel and Nate. So, Steel, so, Nate told Steel that, you know, he was done for the night, so he wasn't going to do anything. And then Zoe comes in saying there's some issues with her Zord. And, you know, um, Nate says, sure, Zoe, I'll take a look at it. And Steel was like, wait a minute. But I just asked him to look at my Zord, and he told me no. But you come in here, you ask him to look at yours, and he says, yes, he'll look at it. That's interesting. Do you think he likes you? Like, likes you, likes you? And Zoe's like, oh, no, 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 he doesn't like me like that. No. And then, you know, she has this little magazine in her hand, and, you know, Steel knocks it over. And he's like, what is this? First dates. And then Zoe has to admit to Steel that, yes, she and um, Nate do like each other. And he was like, okay, so what's wrong with that? Well, the thing is, Rangers can't be in a relationship with other Rangers. Ask Robbie and, um, and uh, what's her name again? Roxy. Ask Robbie and Roxy about that situation. Speaking of Roxy, we see Roxy. So Roxy shows up to where Evox is, and she gives Evox some more fake energy, and Evox turns into Mayor Daniels. So, you know, Zoe was walking, and she saw them. Now, if... If, if Roxy was doing what Mayor Daniel said, what Mayor Daniel said she was doing, trying to, you know, kidnap him or something, he didn't act like somebody that was being, you know, kidnapped or anything. So then Zoe, you know, she she 
fights Roxy um, unmorph. It's an unmorph scene at first, and then she morphs. And, you know, she's giving Roxy the business. And then Roxy ends up leaving before she's defeated by Zoe. All right, you guys, so then back at Grid Battle Force, um, you know, Commander Shaw and the Rangers are in the um, lab with Mayor Daniels. And, you know, this whole thing about, you know, they're trying to figure out what would Roxy then want with Mayor Daniels. Kind of interesting, huh? So then Nate, you know, he, he puts a tracker on Mayor Daniels. So basically, if, you know, Roxy or Blaze or any of them come and try to kidnap him and take him back to their dimension, they'll know where he is and be able to find him immediately. And he is upset. He's like, no, why would you do that? I didn't tell you to do that. Well, you shouldn't have said that, you know, Roxy was trying to kidnap you. Because, um, yeah, now you have two body, you have to have two bodyguards on you at all times. So, you know, um, Commander Shaw asks for someone to volunteer. Steel automatically volunteers uh, Zoe and Nate. I'm like, oh, okay, Steel. I see you. You're trying to get your brother and, and, and his girlfriend a date, huh? I'm not hating on you. So then, um, you know, Evox is upset about this. Like I said, he has a track on him, so he can't go back. So he tells him that he has a meeting with someone. And then he also has to take a, he has to place a phone call you know, to Hong Kong. So he goes out and he calls Scrozzle and, um, you know, Blaze and Roxy in a cyber dimension. And he tells them, they put a track on me. And, you know, Scrozzle's like, well, unfortunately, you can't come back here or they'll know where we are. And um, he tells them that, you know, they need to bring him some Morph X energy. So now it's up to Blaze and Roxy to figure out how to get some Morph X energy to Evox. So then we do see Steel. So Steel, he comes to where Zo and Zoe and Nate are, and they're trying to come up with a disguise for them to, you know, be hidden. Well, I'm like, okay, why do they need a disguise? If they, I mean, why do they necessarily need a disguise? If they're just watching Mary Daniels, they can just do that, you know, as Zoe and Nate, right? So then, you know, um, Ben and Betty are with him. You know, they have these little spheres, and they throw them, and the clothes that they, you know, transformed into, I'm like, um, that's date attire. But, you know, it looks like they're going on a date. I'm like, does Steel, you know, purposely do this? But I don't think he did. And Nathan's always like, we can just go as ourselves, Steel, that's fine. And I'm like, exactly, you can just go as yourself. So then we do see Zoe and Nate, and they are, you know, guarding and watching um, Mayor Daniels. So Nate went and got them some food. He came back with his bowl of noodles and Zoe's bowl of noodles. And still, before, you know, when they left, we were bad for us. He said he was going to follow them, so he followed them. So what he did was, and it was funny to me, he knocked over Nate's bowl, bloop. And that's, so now Nate and Zoe like, was always like, well, you know, we can share my bowl. And um, so they shared their noodles, and it looks like the scene from, what is the movie, Lady and the Tramp, where the dogs were, you know, chewing on the uh, spaghetti. And they came close. And the same thing happened with Zoe and Nate. And I'm like, oh, here we go. They're going in for the kiss. As they, And, you know, um, Mayor Daniels notices them. And he, you know, that they're distracted by these noodles. So Mayor Daniels kind of dips off. And then, you know, um, Nate, he hit the bowl. He has it in his hands. He tips it over and it burns, you know, if some of it gets on Zoe's pants. And like, oh, oh, no, no, I'm so sorry. And then they notice that Mayor Daniels has gotten away. And um, so they call Commander Shaw and they tell Commander Shaw, like, hey, um, you know, we've lost um, Mayor Daniels. So then Mayor Daniels is hit hiding. And then, you know, Blaze and um, Roxy materialize. And they have um, the Morphex energy with them to give to him. But Nate and Zoe show up right in time to stop those two. Or what? Yeah. In time for those two. Because technically... Mayor Daniels is, you know, trying to pull the wool over you guys' eyes, but you guys don't really know that just yet. But let's move on. All right, you guys, so then we move back over to Grid Battle Force. So at Grid Battle Force, Commander Shaw said that, you know, there's, like, some surveillance cameras in the area. So she saw exactly what happened, why, um, you know, Nate and Zoe kind of lost track of, um, you know, Mayor Daniels. And then everyone sees it, and they're like, whoa, because, um... Robbie and the look on Robbie and um Devin's face, 
What? You two like each other? No way. Yep, they like each other. And Commander Shaw is com completely upset about this. She's like, there's a rule that rangers do not fraternize with other rangers. I mean, I don't, under now, I don't understand this whole rule about rangers not fraternizing with other rangers. It's not a big deal. I mean, we've had it done for years in Power Rangers. Um, Kimberly and Tommy fraternize with each other. Andros and Ashley fraternize with each other. Let's think of some other. Let's think of some other Rangers. Jen and um Wes fraternize with each other. Cole and Alyssa they had a little thing with each other. I don't know if it's like a brother sister vibe with Cole and Alyssa, but um Taylor and Eric. Time Force and Wild Force, um, Tori and um, Tori and Blake, Tori and Blake. Let's think. Kira and Trent. The list can go on. Kira and Trent. Nobody would. I don't think anybody in SPD liked each other like that. Mystic Force, Maddie and Nick. Uh, Mystic Force, Operation Overdrive. Uh, I guess you could say Ronnie and Tyson, Rose and Mac. I mean, those are not, I, I, I don't know. Because those, they had a little in thing between those three, those two, or those four. Um, Jungle Fury, Theo and Lily, which I never saw. I For the whole time of um, Jungle Fury, I did not see Theo and Lily. I did not see that. I did not see Theo having a thing for Lily. I really didn't. Um, so we had Jungle Fury. RPM. RPM. Summer and Dylan. I don't know why I said it like that. Because uh, it's E. But Summer and Dylan. Um, Samurai. We're just going to skip over that one. Because I don't really care if anybody likes each other on Samurai. Because that was one of... For me, that's one of the worst seasons that I've watched. And there have been some bad ones. Um, Mega Force, Gia, and Jake. It's Gia and Jake. And then, um, Dino Charge, you know, uh, Tyler and, um, Shelby. And then, um, let's, Ninja Steel. Ninja Steel, Haley, and, um, Haley, and, oh, God, whoop. Well, Haley and I'm drawing a blank. I can think of the actor's name, but I can't think of the Calvin. Calvin and Haley were in a full blown relationship. So, um, yeah, Commander Shaw, your rule is kind of flawed, my love. Um, so then Commander Shaw tells, um, you know, Nate that okay, so what's gonna happen is. Robbie is going to replace you. And then Robbie also had to jump in and say, well, Mom, that rule is the same reason the thing that things that happened between me and um, Roxy. You're correct. So everyone is challenging this rule, basically. So then we see Blaze and Roxy. They materialize and once again back in the city. Roxy, I have to say, was rude as hell. Rude as hell. Because they needed a distraction. So Roxy said, ha ha, got one. And there's this little girl, she was walking with her mom, and Roxy walked up to her and just, bloop, took her tiara off of her head, and the little girl looked at her like, and Roxy said, and the little girl was like, what do you mean, you just stole my tiara off of my head? And she made a Robotron named Tiaratron. I'm like, Roxy, that was rude, my love. Super duper rude just to snatch that little girl's tiara off of her head. Shame on you, Roxy. Shame on you. All right, you guys. So, Ravi and Zoe are with Mary Daniels. And then Tiara Tron, she shows up and she tries to, you know, create a distraction so that Blaze and Roxy can get Evox, the um, Morphex energy. So, you know, those two are fighting with um, Tiara Tron. And then um, also they call, you know, Commander Shaw to let her know what's going on. And she says, okay, um, Steel and Nate are going to come and help. And um, Devin is going to go, you know, intercept this Giga Drone that's in the city. So Devin is taking care of the Giga Drone. And um, 
So Robbie was actually solo fighting Tierra Tron, and then you know he started to overheat, and Nate and Steel show up, and so they started battling with her. So you know Robbie is trying to cool himself down. Robbie tells Zoe like Zoe, you you guard the mayor. So while she's guarding the mayor, you know Robbie's kind of cooled down. So he goes back to help um, you know um, Zoe, not Zoe, but Nate and Steel. He helps those two. And then, you know, um, Blaze and Roxy tried to, you know, fight with uh, Zoe. So Zoe calls on the Beast X King's Spin Saber. And, you know, she's fighting with those two. And then those two are actually giving, uh, they kind of give her the business just a little bit. And, um, you know, she she's blasting and she's demorphed because she's outpowered and she's outnumbered by those two. And as they're about to blast her, Nate jumps in and he takes the blast for her. So then, you know, um, she actually goes and gets the spin saber and she, you know, uses it and boom, destroys those two. And then, um, because before that, I think Nate, Robbie, and Steel defeated uh, Tierra Tron. And then um, we have um, Devin battling with, you know, the, the giant size Tierra Tron. And he defeats her as well. Um, so then we go back to Great Battle Force. And, you know, Commander Sean is talking to the Rangers. And, you know, Zoe and Nate said that they haven't been dating this whole time. And, you know, um, that they wouldn't do anything to jeopardize the team. And Commander Sean says, you know, I was watching you guys while you were in battle. And she says, I don't think that your relationships hurt you. She said, I think that the thing that helps you guys in battle is your relationships with one another. So at this point, going forward, the rule is done. It's a done deal. We don't have to worry about it. You guys are free to do, you know, you guys are free to date each other. And, you know, Zoe says, um, we're about to go see a movie tonight. And Nate says, affirmative. Shout out to Billy. And then, you know, um, Mayor Daniels, he's just, <clears throat> he's coughing. You know, he has this really bad cough. I'm like, oh, no. What's going to happen? So Mayor Daniels runs out of Greer Battle Force. And in the front area, he transforms into who? Into Evox. And this is where, you know, we finally see the Rangers see that Evox and Mayor Daniels are one and the same person. I'm like, oh, that was a great way to end this season. This first, Well, this first half of the season. That was a great way to end it with Mayor Daniels being revealed to be Evox. I thought it was absolutely great, you guys. I enjoyed the episode. Um, I'm kind of bummed that, you know, it's going to be a while before we get Beast Morphers back. But we're almost in May, you guys. So, hey, we don't have that much longer because we're in May. And typically, shows usually end around May-ish and they come back in the fall. So, we don't have very much long until we get the second half of Beast Morphers. May, June, July, August. So, we probably have about three months. So, that's not that bad, you guys. At least the hiatus is not in the first half of April, and we have to get through all of May because next week is May. So before long, Beast Morphers, the second half, will be back. And again, you guys, I'm not doing any reviews until the second half premieres in the U.S. So I won't be watching any spoilers because I want to give you guys my honest reactions when I watch the show. So until I see you guys again in the Fall Ranger Nation, um, actually, you know, if there's some news that comes out anytime before, if we get any news, big news that I come on camera, I'll come on camera and talk to you guys about it. But, you know, you guys, that is going to be it for Power Rangers Beast Morphers. And I hope you guys are staying safe. And until the next video, you guys, later, Ranger Nation.